Merry Christmas, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And this evening for my video premiere, I am gonna be sharing with you some different aspects of my life and how we celebrate Christmas. So you'll get a few video snippets of just some different things that we've done to prepare for the uh, Christmas holidays and the season. And um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope all of you have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for being here and spending some time with the Painter family. You'll get to meet my bonus son, Blake. You'll get to meet my dad and Emily. Uh, my dad and uh, bonus mom so um, it'll be a really fun time and uh, you'll get to see some beautiful Christmas lights as well and me struggle wrapping presents so hope you enjoy it and uh, have a Merry Christmas and uh, I'll see you soon hey guys it's Kara the principal painter I am at my bonus son Blake's house and he is a coffee aficionado and so we are gonna be making some Christmas coffee for you right now. This is Blake, say hi. Hello. <laughs> All right, and he's gonna be explaining the process of making his specialty coffee. Are you ready? Let's go. Mm. All right, what are we doing? So we're gonna get out our scale, mm -hmm. our grinder, okay. and we're gonna measure out 18 grams of coffee. Told you he was serious, serious. <laughs> 18 grams. That's a tiny scale. It's actually like too big. Really? Do they have smaller ones? Yeah. It's a little too big. It's got all these accoutrements for making coffee. Alright. He's being very precise. So what kind of coffee is this? Uh, so this is a Colombian. Okay. It's from a uh, single origin Colombian. Okay. From Java. All right. Where'd you get it? Uh, Java. It's a roaster here in Houston. Oh, that's not okay. Yeah, they have really good stuff. We're gonna pour it in our grinder. All right. Put the top back on. We can grind in the coffee beans. This Ooh. makes a mean cup of coffee. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> now what is this? Oh, that's for the... It's like water runoff. Oh, okay, that's right, okay. And all of this put together makes a really good cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Better than our curing at home. Oh, hey. get Moon. There's Moon, his dog. Oh, sweet. Hey, I make coffee with Kira. You don't like my coffee? Moon, say hi. Yeah. There she is. Hi, Moon. Hi, Moon. Moon, say hi. Hi, Moon. Hey, Moon. Moon, say hi. Hi, Moon. 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 Hi, And then we're going to use our WDT tool to distribute it evenly across the bed. Just watch. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's got all the little accoutrements to make this coffee. Mm -hmm. It's really good, though. It's called coffee with love. Yes. Fancy coffee. And then we got our tamper here to tamp down the ground. This is really interesting. All this for a cup of coffee, but it's really good. It's pretty tasty. And then we're going to clear our group head. Flush it out. I don't know what he's saying either. Just go with it. Um, and then for these guys, I have to take out this because the cups are taller. Space. Alrighty. And we're gonna get our milk. You're doing almond milk or regular milk? 
Uh, I'll do oat milk for this one. Oat milk, okay. What did we have the last time? We had regular milk. Yeah, the regular milk. I'll do one, one regular and one. Um, yeah, it was really good. I want to try the oat milk, I think. I, I like oat milk better. That's what you said, yeah, the last time. But, it was different. <laughs> Okay. All right, watch the magic happen. Oh. It's like being a professional coffee shop. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Here, let me get out of the way. Oh, I was trying to get you. No, I'm good. You gotta watch the coffee. Got a whole system here. What do you need now? So now I'm waiting for this guy to just heat up. Heat up, okay. Put what does that do? So we're gonna steam our, our milk in there. Ah, oh, okay. Just gotta flush it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's the milk steamer, okay. Like I said, I just put a pod in a Keurig and call it a day. Makes it all frothy. Can you make mine no whip, no fat? Oh, stop. <laughs> Y'all have food here? No, no <laughs> Y'all have any breakfast sandwiches? Cranberry bliss bars. <laughs> We're going to get spoiled. All this for one cup of coffee. He still has to make marlins. Mm -hmm. And this is a new flavor of coffee? Uh, it's just a different bean. Oh, okay. So, from a different roaster. Gotcha. So it'll have a different like flavor profile. Okay. Uh, Don't you guys know how to play favor? Can I speak today? Flavor profile it is. It's a very scientific process, apparently. I tried to get it hard in, but it didn't work out. <laughs> that was that, is that the finish? Top. Okay. That is the finish. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look, you did a heart on the top. You did. You can totally tell Aww. it's a heart. Aww. Yay. Aww. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. And here we go. Here's our coffee. Take, All right. I'll take, see you guys soon. I'm going to take a I'm sip. Enjoy my coffee. Okay. Look. Is it hot? This should be fun. Very good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, I'm gonna put some sugar in, but yes, it was very good. Bye. Hi guys, it's Kara. We are in the car. It is nighttime and we are light looking. We are gonna drive by a house that goes all out for Christmas. We have to tune in our radio to a station. Wait until you see these lights. It is so much fun. We have our Starbucks and we're ready to go. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, get ready. Here we go. We're coming up on All it. All right, guys, check this out. We had to tune in our radio. Look at this. Is this not crazy? Okay, can you pull up, baby? This man works on this light display all year long. Is this not insane? I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, like we're in line waiting to get down by this house. It's crazy.
He records his own music. It's not copyrighted. Don't worry. Look at this. Okay, can you go down there? Yep, this is the house we drive by every year. It's insane. Yes, this is a house. Is this not crazy? Oh my God. wanted you to see this. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh my gosh. I mean, these trees, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, the lights are tuned to the music. Okay. All right, now. Okay, we can turn it off now, sorry. Don't wanna play it too much, but yes, this is uh, in a neighborhood in Katy, Texas. And the lights are beautiful, but yeah, the last one was absolutely insane. We're gonna turn around. I feel bad for the neighbors that live next to that house because it's like, why do we even put up lights? It's Monday too. It's Monday, yes, okay. All right, we're gonna drive down one of the main roads in just a minute. There's some more lights. We'll drive by the crazy house in just a minute. Again, this man works all year on these lights <laughs> every year it's like this and you know it's not even close wait can you yeah let's turn that down because i don't know if it's copyright there we go okay but yeah i mean just crazy i mean there are people standing on the street looking <laughs> it's just crazy but yeah, he works on this display all year long. Okay, honey, can you go around? Hold on, I've gotta wait for this car. He's just stopped looking. Is that not crazy? It's one house. <laughs> oh, good grief. Sorry, if you are triggered by flashing lights, look away from your screen right now, because, you know. Yeah, I think he's going to sit there for a minute, honey, so you might want to go around him. He's moving. Finally moving. Okay, well, enjoy the light. <laughs> enjoy the lights. Oh, my gosh. Yep, this is all one house. It's pretty insane. All right. All right, we're going to turn now, and we're going to go down the other main road in this neighborhood there are some other houses that have some really pretty light displays now again it's not gonna be like that one but um we did see some pretty displays show them this one honey <laughs> okay wow look at that i'm kidding marlin <laughs> be nice they tried <laughs> I, like i said i would hate to be neighbors with that guy but yeah, this is a really pretty neighborhood. It's been in Katy, Texas for forever. Not gonna give away. Yeah, probably better, okay. Probably a better view. I'm not a professional videographer, sorry. But yeah, we got some lights going on here. Okay, that's like our house. Yeah, it is like our house. So here's some more. Believe, believe Marlon gets Marlon chuckles at believe. Everybody's believing. All right, so here's some more. Just don't get me. <laughs> don't get you, okay. So yeah, everybody's in the spirit. Sorry, I'm swinging you back and forth. If you get car sick, I'm sorry. Take your Dramamine. Well, this one on the right. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this neighborhood really kind of does it up, but that one house was it wasn't that crazy. The this has a peanuts musical going on. Again, I don't know how much I can show because of copyright, but it's so pretty. There's the manger. I mean, just these people go all out, I'm telling you. Well, because that one guy does. So I know. Does okay, so here's another house that I mean, I mean just how many blow crazy. Ups? Dear God. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of blow-ups here, yeah, guys. The oh, the up. minions! How fun! Oh, look at Frosty! I love it! He looks like my diamond painting. They blow 
everyone. They blew up. <laughs> they have every blow up known to man. They're all the reindeer eating at a trough. Oh my gosh. Okay. And here's the next house. I'm telling you, this neighborhood goes all out when it comes to lights. Wow. Okay, baby, we can keep going. Looking. He's just looking too. Oh my gosh! Like the whole yard. There's not they an inch of that like yard. A whole store of stuff. <laughs> here's, stuff. here's where we're coming up to. Oh my gosh! It didn't used to be like this until that guy started. And guys, this is the first part of the video. We are going to another neighborhood that I call we're we're going to River Oaks. That is Richville of Houston, and it's insane too. But it's so much fun. I love light looking. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I love light looking. Ooh, look at this one. This is Candy Cane. It's Winnie the Pooh. Keep going. Candy Cane. Yeah, Candy Cane Lane. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right, now we're back onto my side. Sorry, trying to get, give you the whole experience here. There's some more Candy Canes. Oh my gosh. Gonna walk through a sea of lights here. So pretty. I love lights, they're just magical. Now I wanna find that classic house that I love. So pretty. If you guys go light looking, I love going light looking. We go like two or three times every season to go light looking. All right, where's the main street with more of the lights? Okay. Okay, on the way out of the neighborhood. We have a little ways to go in this neighborhood and then I will turn the video back on for the next neighborhood. This neighborhood, I mean, seriously. Oh, is that the house yes. up there? <gasps> oh. That's further out. But... Okay. Sorry for the glare. It's gonna be on this side. Okay, it's gonna be on the left side. All right, so we're coming up on some more lights. Oh. Look at this. I did a good job. That is beautiful. Yeah, like oh that. my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, this is the closet. Oh, the, the, oh my gosh. Okay, this is my favorite. I love this house. It is super classic. Look, doesn't that look like the Home Alone house? I love that. It's beautiful. Not even the inside. Uh -huh. It kind of looks like the Home Alone house. It's not the Home Alone house. The Home Alone house is in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay. All, right. All right. We are going to turn this off and head to Richville, what I call Richville, River Oaks in Houston, and look at their lights. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Yeah, All oh, right, oh. guys. We are now in River Oaks. Welcome to the light show. Yes, this is all one house. Check it out. I couldn't even afford a tree in their front yard. <laughs> but the lights are really pretty. There are constantly cars all over this place looking at the lights. Just wanted you guys to see how the other half lives. I don't think these people are wondering where their next meal is coming from for sure. The lights are absolutely phenomenal. They course they probably have people to do their lights but you know we can enjoy them for free yay <laughs> but yes this is River Oaks in Houston sorry some things are you know they're kind of they're gated so you have to hold the camera to see
got a light now. So I'll let you take a gander at that. Here we go, you know, a light would just absolutely stop our tour of the lights. This one, I haven't seen this one before. This must have just gone up. It's crazy. Yeah, we um, we came down here before and a lot of these lights weren't on yet, but check this out. show those are the trees and the beautiful lights in them oh my gosh and yet another house this is crazy their gates open let's go in just kidding oh they've got the houston texans on the front of their house we got people all over the streets walking looking at these lights okay here's another house country club, a private country club. I don't know how many millions you have to be making to get in, but the only way we'd get in is to crash something. <laughs> crash party, crash something. Yes, I'm Kara of the Painter Estate. Just kidding. <laughs> There's a country club. There's the country club. Obviously, it's guarded, locked off. Look how pretty. All right. And again, this is the main, the main drag in River Oaks. You can call it a drag, the main boulevard, sure the main thoroughfare. I'm sure they don't call their street a drag. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can tell the pedigree I'm from. It's the main drag. Come it's the main I'll drag. Make a, I'll make a right? Yes, make a right, honey. Thank okay. you. Down the other drag. Down the other drag. Okay. <laughs> Down the other other boulevard. Yes, make a right, James. Yeah, there are people all in the streets looking at these beautiful lights, taking pictures. Crazy, yeah. I mean. That is stunning. You can't even see the house for the lights. Okay, that's a that's gotta be a Christmas party going on in there. I I know, I wish you guys could see this in person. It's crazy. What is going on in there? We weren't invited. What's up with that? I'm just oh, I'm insulted. <laughs> I should have been invited to this party. Okay, there's the gate. The gate's shut. So, oh, there's Tara. I mean, sorry. I'm trying to hold my phone up so you can even see the house. Oh my gosh. All right. So we got this house here. That's pretty with all the colored lights. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. There are people all in the streets. Not a professional videographer. We're gonna go this way. Oh yeah, there's some pretty lights down here. Okay. Uh, they got a bus down here. Yes, they have a busload of people down here looking at That's the lights. lights. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the side of the house, and you can see all the beautiful garland, and then. Oh my god, yeah, they brought a bus. Okay, take a right so we can see the bus. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the front of that house. That's crazy. That 
is crazy. Yeah, you, there, as it gets closer to Christmas, there these streets you can't even drive down because so many cars are stopping and looking and look at this, these houses. That is crazy. The trees are beautiful. Down the road. Just down the drag a bit. <laughs> Just down the track a bit. <laughs> way down the drag. Way down the drag, like way down the freeway on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> we live nowhere near here. They're, dri they're driving us out of the <laughs> The peasants need to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay. Y'all, some more lights. So pretty on the balcony. Yeah, just follow all the cars because the tree in the window. There's another really pretty. Um, I know, yeah. There is a closer you get to. It's Monday, what, the 11th? Is it the 11th or the 12th? That's the date that we're filming this, and the traffic is already majorly picking up down here because of all the, the lights. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. oh God, these houses, okay, they take up like a city block. Uh-huh. Like 20 rays on that <laughs> We have one. <laughs> we have one wreath on our house. It is not lit. It's just a wreath on our door. We have 20 lit wreaths. 20 lit wreaths. We wondered also the last time we came how much electricity was in this neighborhood. There's some more. Or candy canes. Okay. There's another one. It's a pretty green. That's a very traditional house. Yeah. If you can call it that. It takes up a city block. But okay. There's some more pretty lights hanging from the trees. You can hardly see the house for the lights. It's like, where's the house? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Everything wraps around the house. Some pretty. Okay, they all went shopping at the same life. place. <laughs> they did, but I mean, this is all one house. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is all oh, the side of one this? house. Yes, yeah. it keeps going. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, one house. Okay, this is their back door neighbor, I think. No, wait, yes, this is yeah. another house. I'm like, good lord, please tell me. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, my ADD is kicking in. Wow. Yes. Okay. They did like window down, baby? Yeah, they did the entire tree. Oh my god. Oh okay, can you hold I, that out? I'm sure. trying. I'm sorry. trying. I'm trying. The entire tree is done. Okay. Yeah, oh I'm gosh. trying to okay, draw sorry. there's cars behind me. Okay, sorry. Yeah, there's cars moving. And there's Frosty, a big Frosty. Everything's bigger in River Oaks apparently. Alright. I love how they have the lights draped through the trees. I know, I don't know. Well, again, they have people to do their lights, so. It's so pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, a couple good ones coming up here. I'm trying to move slowly so I don't make people seasick. Wow. The lights of the house, dear God. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh Which, my God, look at that house. Oh, uh, they did the roof. They, they did, did everything. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Put balls in the trees. It's Tara, it's Tara, fiddle dee dee. Oh look wow. Look at that house. Like, it's a whole city block. Dear God. <laughs> Let's see it from space. Lord. This is neat, the little balls in uh -huh. the trees. That gets a golf clap, right, honey? That gets a golf clap. That gets yeah. a golf clap. Okay, here's another one. Oh, look at that house over there. I've never seen that. It looks oh, like a complex. Look in the window. They've got the uh, nutcracker guys. I don't 
I think it's two. Can you film it? In, in every window. There's three, six, well, nine, that's twelve. That's what Marlon's talking about. Okay. I don't know I if don't you know can if see they, it. I don't think they can see yeah, it. Yeah, so our car's behind me. Wow. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's like that. But yes, welcome to River Oaks. stop videoing. We've got one more house up here with some pretty lights and uh, we will call it an evening. So pretty. Oh. No, you're good. A lot of these houses have fences and everything else so the riffraff can't get in. Like us. Yes, like us. probably live here and they're like, get me to my, oh, that one says, ho, 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 on it. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, all one house. Crazy. That, I've never seen so many lights on a house. That's I know, it is. All right, guys. Well, we will tell you goodbye for now, and um, we will see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Hi, everybody. We are here at my dad's birthday celebration. Ooh. We have mom and dad painter. Ooh. This is Emily. This is Noel. This is my dad. Ooh. So we're going to sing happy birthday. And so you guys get to join in and singing happy birthday to my dad. Are we ready? Ready. One, two, Let's, can we go three. Over there? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Principal Painter's dad. Happy, happy birthday to you. Thank you, dear. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas Eve. I'm my video is going on Christmas Eve, so I know it's Christmas Eve. It's not quite Christmas Eve right now while I'm videoing, but uh, Dad just celebrated his birthday here. He just left the house, so I am wrapping some gifts. So we have some gifts to put under this barren tree here. Um, most of the time, we kind of do gift cards, and I don't really need anything because it's Christmas for me all year round with all my diamond paintings, but. I did get a few things for the boys. One thing for Marlon that he already knows about, so I'm essentially wrapping his Christmas present in front of him as he's videoing. Woohoo! But that is okay. Hope everyone is enjoying their Christmas Eve. Uh, on our Christmas Eve, I will be uh, celebrating with my uh, dad and Emily, who came over today. Oh, there's some tissue. Um, We'll go to my dad's house and they always put on like a Christmas Eve spread. It used to be, well, we started this tradition when I was little and uh, my dad continues it to this day. Um, they do like a little fancy buffet and they'll have little sandwiches and we always have um, those little smokies and the well, we do chili sauce and some other stuff put in uh, as the concoction, but um, we uh, go over there and we have an evening and everybody gets to open like one gift. And then the next morning, Santa comes. 
And so the boys will come over here and I will have their Santa stuff. Santa will have come. So yeah, I'm wrapping and I'm wrapping Marlon's gift in front of him. He already knows what it is. So. Mm -hmm. I'm still excited though. He is. You know the Houston Astros. <laughs> Woo -woo! to have his Jordan Alvarez mm -hmm. jersey. So Wish we... me a Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Wish me a Merry Christmas. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. We're wrapping it up. He can't have it yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably wrap my own Christmas gift too, so that's okay. And, hey. uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but I won't wrap it on here. But that's what we're going to do. So Christmas Day is normally kind of a chill day, relaxing day. The boys will come for breakfast and open their Santa gifts. And um, I'll make a uh, fun breakfast for them. And then um, we'll have them open their gifts. And we'll just, you know, have breakfast and have a nice morning together. And then they will go back to their dad's for uh, their Christmas dinner. And Marlon and I will be here. And we kind of cook a non-traditional uh, Christmas dinner. Um, I will do uh, a prime rib. I, mm -hmm. I love, yeah, Marlon loves it too. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of been our tradition that we do um, prime rib for Christmas. Um, sorry for me on the floor, but this is how I wrap. I can't, can't wrap without, you know, spreading out a little bit. So, um, Hoping that this would. I am not. A, I'm, I'm seriously. I'm not a good present wrapper at all. Okay. Looks like I'll be on the move here. Um, but yeah, we'll do prime rib for Christmas Day, and then um, cut, 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 and uh, we'll just relax here and probably watch some uh, Christmas movies and all that kind of thing. So yeah. Okay. Bracelet We're gonna watch football. Yeah. Yes, he'll watch football. Yes, for sure. He no, no, is. Christmas movies, honey. Uh, Christmas. Well, I'll watch Christmas movies. He'll watch football, right? Okay. Turn this over. Like I said, I'm not an A number one Christmas present wrapper, but I get the job done. How many of you? Where did my tape go? Oh my I'm just gonna rip it open anyway, so. I know, but I like you are to the have best. Look nice under the tree. You are the best uh, present wrapper in the family, honey. Let I me mean, just <laughs> state that right now. Wrapping skills are worse than mine. Come on. A lot. Well, that, well, okay, they are. I'm telling you. Well, honey, that's why I pay for it. I don't wrap it. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He goes to the mall and goes to one of those wrapping places and goes, "Please help me wrap my presents." She saw me try to. Um, Peel an avocado one time, and dear God, I think... It was avocado murder. <laughs> avocado murder. The authorities were called out. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's green slime all over the kitchen counter. It wasn't that. It was... It was, it was <laughs> very bad. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen somebody... That was the end of his avocado days. so loud. The end of his avocado days, so, yes. But yeah, so that's what we're planning on. Um, we didn't go anywhere for Christmas this year. We rarely do because most of our family is here in uh, Texas and in the Houston area. So we stay home most of the time for uh, Christmas, which is fine. Um, traveling, oh, those of you that travel around the holidays, God bless you. It's too people-y. I don't like being in airports and all that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a little long, so. Oh, yes, that just okay, looks... Why do I keep losing stuff? That I looks, mean, that looks Does anyone horrible. else do this when they're wrapping presents? Go, where are the scissors? Where's the tape? It's right here. It was right here, I swear. So we're just going to cut this off at the top. Like I said, you're going to see how <laughs> non-talented I am at Christmas present wrapping here, but okay. it's fun. I enjoy Christmas present wrapping. My mom kind of was the teacher of how to wrap gifts and... You know, I try to do the very best I can. It's not perfect, but you know, it's the gift that counts and come on, get in there. So yeah, I don't know how many of you are the rappers in your family, but I've always been the rapper in my family. So and I try to do the best I can. Sometimes it's like, oh well, just put some tape on it. Well, that's what we do. Okay, and 
I didn't get gift tags at the store, so if you don't have gift tags, here's a little trick. You take your wrapping paper. You take a little square of it. Oops. This is, again, this is a mom trick. Take a little square of it or a rectangle of it. You fold it in half. And if it's not even, like mine is, <laughs> mine is definitely not. You just cut around it to make it look even like you know what the heck you're doing, which <laughs> I don't. Clean up all your little scrappies from off the floor. Take your tape. I knew I needed a pen, but I'll remember these when I get them wrapped. Where'd my thing go? Okay. <laughs> you get to see me struggle. Stick it on the package. <laughs> There's your gift tag. Hey, look at that. All right. One down, three to go. Three to go? Really? Do I have three? Maybe I do. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, no, I have two to go. Okay. Yes, two to go. These. Okay, those, no, nope. mm, I don't know. I'm going to wrap this all together. We'll see. Make sure you take the price tags off. You, you don't want those price tags on there. All right, so shirt for Doug. I don't know why the store does this. Rolls up the sleeves on every shirt that's hanging, and I'm going, why would you bunch up the sleeve? I don't know. Oh, so yes. That is what uh, we are planning to do for our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day now to watch me attempt to fold a shirt, which is a joke. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, so I hope you are enjoying Christmas with your family and friends. This is my last little um, video vignette that uh, we're going to put together for this Christmas Day premiere. Um, it's It's been fun, guys. It's been fun um, sharing a little bit of my life with you and my family and I'm glad okay. why 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 did this piece of tissue come like this I don't know back into the bag um, a little bit of my family with you I'm glad you got to meet my dad he's a very important part of my life and so I'm glad you got to see him um, and to share a little bit about kind of what we do around here at Christmas time um, looking forward to spending time with my boys. Um, I got asked to help with a Christmas party next Friday, so I'm going to do that. Next Friday will be the 23rd, so I'm getting this done pretty early. I've still got to... Season's greetings! <laughs> I got to... Um, well, that's upside down. Carol, why are you doing it that way? Um, so I'm getting to help with that, which will be super fun. Um, love helping with stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I've tried so many times to do coordinating wrapping paper and be Martha Stewarty about everything. This is two, two different types of wrapping paper and I'm just going to have to go with it and be okay with it. Okay. I think that should do it. I'm going to try this an easier way this time so I can cut it. So, oh, well, sometimes I can just slide the scissors. I know there, that there's that new thing that, that, that's out that you can just slide it right down and cut the wrapping paper. I've yet to purchase it, obviously, so oh, I'll just rip it. Okay, not a problem. I do not believe in going out and buying super expensive wrapping paper, so most of my wrapping paper is ultra thin because people are just going to rip off the paper anyway. Or... How many of you are like my mother? My mother would never rip the paper. She would very carefully unwrap. And I'm going, what are you gonna do with the paper once it's open? Just rip it open, seriously. But I know people like that. They like to very carefully take off the paper. And not me. I wanted my gift. I'd rip all into it, so. All right, let's turn this this way. But I miss the times though, you know, my. Kids are grown and out on their own, but I used to have to go in my bedroom and have wrapping central and they interrupt me 10 million times just to try to figure out what they were getting for Christmas. And it would be just a major pain because it was like, stay out of the room, don't come in, I'm wrapping presents. And 
now I can just wrap it in the middle of my living room and not worry about it because they're not here. And you know, well, for time's sake and everything else, it's fine, but kind of makes me sad. I miss those secret wrapping central days in my bedroom when the boys would always try to sneak in and try to find out what they were getting for Christmas, but it will be good. You know, it makes me appreciate when they're not, because they're not here and obviously grown in on their own, it makes me appreciate the time with them and the time that they come over even more. Um, I love spending time with them and I, I cherish it. Um, you know, used to be at Christmas, I'd be like, oh my gosh, we just get through Christmas, just get through it. Oh, this is just stressful and I'm cooking and I'm cleaning and I, you know, family's coming over and I have to do all this stuff and now it's, I appreciate it. I appreciated being able to uh, be here with my dad and have dinner for him for his birthday. Um, I'm always very careful. For those of you with birthdays around Christmas, you know this, uh, you don't wrap people's birthday gifts that have birthdays around Christmas in Christmas paper. Eh -eh. No, 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 because they don't want to be gypped on their birthday because it's around Christmas time. So you've got to wrap it in wrapping, uh, wrapping paper. Of course you have to wrap it in wrapping paper, Kara. You have to wrap it in birthday paper. So I make sure that I get birthday paper to wrap my dad's birthday gift in. I actually did a gift bag this year. Sometimes I do gift bags. Sometimes I do wrapping paper. Okay, I've done it again. Where's the tape? Oh, there's the tape. Okay. I constantly do that when I'm wrapping presents. Where? It hides from me. It hides from me. But yeah, I have been enjoying, um, Netflix actually has um, Christmas movies and I've, I've been enjoying watching those, although the pattern is the same every single time. Boy meets girl. It's kind of like Hallmark romances. Boy meets girl. It's kind of an awkward, um, situation because they either work together or they really don't like each other at first. Uh, they're so different, so not alike. Boy and girl then, after the awkwardness goes away, fall in love. Fall in love. Life is blissful. It's so happy. Boy or girl does something wrong or there's some horrible conflict that seems absolutely impossible to overcome and they part ways, they split up, somebody leaves, somebody goes home, somebody just decides they can't take it anymore. And at the end, they get back together, fall in love, and live happily ever after. Every single time. Yep. Every time. All right, I'm going to make different piles so I remember whose is whose because I don't have a pen with me and I don't want to get up to get one right now. But yeah, same pattern. That, that's the pattern every time. Oh, wait, let me make this more even. Oof. I'm going to make it look kind of, I'm going to make it look kind of pretty under the tree. You know, you want it to look good. All right. I never used to do this as a mom. It's like, just slap the thing, you know, slap the paper on, slap the, I used to have bows too. No more bows. I don't need bows. I, I'm not doing ribbon. It's just the wrapping paper. They don't care about the ribbon anyway. All right, so that's Marlon's, this is Doug's. And I have one more to wrap for Doug. I think I'm gonna keep it in the same paper so I can keep it all straight. I got him some, I got him some pajamas. This goes in the bag, this goes in the bag. I just have a trash bag here. Okay, move that out of the way so it doesn't hide anything. I got him some cute pajamas. There's the top and the bottoms. Again, price tags come off. Sometimes forget that. Can't forget that. Okay, now this price tag doesn't even want to come off. Okay, where are my scissors? I've lost them again. There they are, hiding. Um, so, well, that price tag is not coming off. Well, uh, y'all, seriously, the wrapping paper struggle is real. Got him some boxers. So he should like those. I got him a nice shirt too, but he likes PJs and stuff. So box number three and tonight's wrapping will be done. Some other things are coming in for my youngest son. They're not going to come in until closer to Christmas. So I'll get those wrapped, but I wanted to get these wrapped ahead of time and visit with you guys just for a little bit. But yeah, so I've been watching those Netflix 
um, I finished my um, I finished my puppy uh, the uh, Hobby Lobby diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. I finished the puppy that Love Is Blind little cocker spaniel puppy. It was so cute. Um, finished that, and I um, started putting drills down on my unicorn. I've got to get it done. I just I could wait no longer. Um, I. Uh, Put the first drills down on okay now that's ripped so let me cut this there's a lot of effort that goes into this even though it looks like i'm just slapping it around but uh put my first drills down on eden excited about that so i think i'll do a little bit of that tonight i had to clear off the dining room table so we could actually eat on it tonight for dad's birthday so i can put my diamond painting stuff back out and I hope some of you can identify with my wrapping dilemma because, again, I'm a terrible present wrapper. <laughs> Never had to talk to people while wrapping gifts either. Okay. All right. Now I'm doing it a third way. You know, we'll see which way works the best. But Marlon's holding his head. I'm sure he's getting a headache. But I'm trying to spend some time with you. So that you get a full hour of this video premiere. All right. One last gift to wrap for tonight. But like I said, um, I've got a package coming in the mail for my youngest son. He, um, he ordered shirts from L.L. Bean of all places. I haven't, I, I had, I've gotten things from L.L. Bean a long time ago, but... He wanted some shirts from there, so I ordered them. He sent me pictures exactly of what he wanted, so I got those ordered, and they should be coming in the mail by the 23rd, which is kind of cutting it close, but if it wasn't for the last minute with me, nothing would get done. And then I have promised Marlon tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, today is Saturday, the 17th of December, uh, tomorrow, clean out of Craft Room Central begins. So that is going to be, um, I'm reorganizing all of my diamond paintings, which perhaps I'm again, a little bit of a diamond painting hoarder. Um, I used to store my drills in containers, hang them in my closet. That is not working at all. All right. You know what? I'm not cutting. I'm just going to go for it here. Um, so I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is we've got some storage containers, some rather large storage containers. Marlon is taking some of those storage containers and putting Christmas decorations in them. I am using them to, so I'm finding my diamond painting in the closet that's hanging up. I am pulling that out. Then I'm going through all the storage containers. Um, they're cubes. There are some plastic totes with them in them. I mean, they're all over the place. So I'm searching through to get the drills that match the hanging up canvas, putting them together, rolling them up, and they will go in the uh, containers and we'll get them to storage. Now, here's the problem. I have diamond paintings already in storage, but they're taking up a whole lot of real estate in my storage unit because we've laid them flat. I haven't hung them, they're just flat. So the whole area where my diamond paintings are laid flat, nothing, I, I will not allow anything on top of them. They can't be bent, whatever. So um, that's taking up way more room than uh, is needed. So um, okay, this one's gonna be a little wrinkly. So be it, okay? Um, so I'm, gonna take what's left after I find all of the drills that go with my hanging diamond paintings in my craft room and get those put together, pair them back up. I am taking the remaining drills to storage, finding the diamond paintings that are laying flat, pairing those with the drills and doing the same thing. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but I will once again be able to move in my craft room. Yay, Marlon is shaking his head. He doesn't believe me, but I told him I'd start tomorrow, I promised. So, got to do that. Okay, this one, again, is going to Doug. So, let me cut out a little tag for this. All right, guys. Um, I have completed uh, wrapping some gifts. 
I'm so glad you guys joined me this evening. I hope all of you have a wonderful Christmas. This will be uh, the last part of my video. Um, and I hope you stick with all the creators uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day that are doing this. Um, I'd like to thank Crafts with Crashly for putting this wonderful event together. Crashly, you rock. I love you. Um, and uh, I want to wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas. And I'm very, very blessed and thankful that all of you are a part of my life and have been a part of this journey with, uh, with me and uh, with Marlon and with my family. And I want to wish you and yours a very blessed and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy the holidays, guys, and I'll see you soon. Love to you guys. Bye.